Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to talk about making your own custom transitions. So, I was looking at the gradient wipe transitions, and I thought we could make those ourselves, probably. So, let me show you real quick. In case you don't know how to make a transition, you just create a fade, and then whether it's a crossfade or whatever, uh, then you can put a transition in the middle, and it will turn it into whatever transition you turn the crossfade into whatever transition you selected. This one sets soft noise paint splatters uh, some of them are pretty cool I want to talk about making a custom one so uh, I want to get rid of that transition and show you kind of what it would look like if you made your own now I did this one really fast so it's not very fancy but that's my own custom wipe transition right there and uh, you can make your own and like you like you see these be super fancy or whatever you can get as fancy as you want to get with it uh, it just depends on how much time you have and your artistic skill um, but this is my own little wipe transition let me show you the process and uh, firstly we need to open up Vegas image so you don't have to use Vegas image however you know why wouldn't you we're going to go to new and we're going to select a full HD 1080p because that's the size of the project we're doing and um, then we're going to select solid layer white is the color you're going to need to use because anything that is white it's going to cut out of the picture so for example we're going to go to our mask and we're going to go to brush mask uh, and if it's if it's the other way uh, you need to invert it you need to draw the white back uh, but if you made a little heart or whatever and you can do that you can use a sketching pad I have a little sketching pad I could use but you know for the sake of this tutorial we don't need to watch me spend an hour trying to be an artist uh, so uh, if you had a little heart and the heart like ripped in pieces or whatever the heart is what would cut through so this section over here would be the video the original video and this section would cut through to the video underneath alright so you see here that's how it works is the white right here when you look at it this section right here cuts through to the video underneath I mean get a bigger section so you can see it here this longer section cuts through to the video underneath so hopefully now it's making a lot of sense uh, but let's show you the quick process in Vegas so um, first off I'm going to delete this brush mask and add it back because I'm not going to do that right there but uh, let's do something kind of like procedural up and down or whatever uh, so I'm gonna start in a corner and then I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to grab the brush mask again and then draw a little bit more and then duplicate the layer and then I'm going to grab the brush mask again and draw a little bit more and then duplicate the layer and I'm creating my own animation because it's going to look like it moves once we have all these pictures so I'm not making you watch the whole thing um, but I am just going to real quick just make a whole bunch of things for me going up and down just like this but all I'm doing duplicate layer grab the brush mask paint a little bit more now some little tips this is all going to be one frame of your transition so if you have 30 frame per second video then 30 of them is one second transition transitions usually aren't long but that's a good rule of thumb to keep also as you're creating this uh, I know mine just looks like a little blob I'm just but uh, uh, the the point of it is when you're doing it you, you're going to need to kind of vary the length if you want it to kind of look hand-drawn um, because it's going to need to look like it speeds up and slows down a little bit also if you're too mechanical about how you do it it might not look very natural it depends if you want it to be mechanical you need to be very even with when you do it but um, I'm trying to be very uneven so like I might cover a whole lot right now and then this next one I'm going to cover a little bit and then this next one I might cover a medium amount but yeah so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just finish this one up right here just just finish it up okay so now we're back to a white page alright so when you're done what we're gonna do is select the top layer here right click hit export layers we're going to make sure it's a PNG 
we're going to make sure in the settings that include transparency it's on and we're going to make sure that it is all layers it's got to be all layers and then uh, we're going to have use canvas size selected and hit export and then um, you're going to have a folder you want to save it to and you need to name it uh, if you it's going to be too long if you just let it say copy 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 so um, I'm just going to name this one new transition and hit save and then if you look in your folder you can watch them export one at a time and add all these transitions so boom now we got a bunch of transitions if you highlight them you should see the actual like see-through part of it so you'll know that it's not just a white piece but it's actually got some transparency to it so now here comes the trick that make it work so uh, I'm gonna exit out of Vegas image uh, no I don't want to save that and then uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to do the same thing that I did here so let me uh, delete all of these real quick so I can show you the process all these tracks here so um, I'm going to go to I'm going to add my stock footage in from the Vegas stock footage here and then uh, we're going to do a transition uh, and we need one on top and one on bottom this is not a, going to be a mash transition like that this is going to be our own custom wipe and we need one we need them to be layered for this transition to work then we're going to hit control shift and Q and create a new track on top of it this top track we're going to hit make composite child because this is the one that we're going to cut through and then we're going to hit this hamburger menu, this dot dot dot, hit compositing mode, and then hit cut. And now, when we import the transition, it should cut through this top layer and show the bottom layer. So now what we can do is go to insert and slideshow. This is our handy dandy slideshow maker. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all of these. I'm going to um, hit shift, select them all, remove selected, those are my old ones. We're going to add more pictures and we're going to go to, this is the new transition, we're going to select one and then go all the way to the bottom, hold shift, select the other, now you're selecting all the pictures you just made and hit open. So boom, now you have all the pictures you just made. Uh, and you need it to start like it's going to go start with this one if you want it to reveal then you want it to be this way if you want it to like cut through and have the other one reveal you need to mix it Z to A so if you you can pick the order that your transition is going to apply uh, however how it's gonna work so this one I want it to start with the barely anything I've drawn and move on so the next thing to do is go to your settings tab and you need to go to make have it at start cursor go to the total length and this total length needs to be one frame this right here is like subframes I've learned the hard way so we're going to make this one frame so we got like uh, minutes seconds frames and subframes uh, and don't worry about this because you're gonna make sure that your overlap is zero uh, we're not doing a traditional slideshow. We're just using this as a mass importer. And uh, there we go. Now we're going to hit create. And then boom, right there, it creates our transition. Uh, and I can line these up better to match when it would actually need a transition. Uh, and let's watch it. There we go. It moves pretty fast. You can slow it down. You can add more. You can make it as fancy as you want but you can make any of your own transitions now um, you can have little flower imprints cover it you can you can do whatever you need to do thank you so much for watching like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one thank you so much for watching thanks for my patrons for sticking around and we'll see you next time